Hi, I'm Suzanne, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. Welcome to my weekly Monday Makes video on my blog and YouTube channel. The card designs I share today are simple, fun, and easy to recreate. I also sell the products I feature in this video. I hope you enjoy my free video tutorial and would love to see you shop with me. Hello friends! For today's card I am featuring the stamp set called Zany Zebras. Now this isn't in the annual catalog, this is in a special kind of a beginner's catalog, but I am taking this stamp set up to the next level. So it would still be classified a, a Monday Makes video because it's fairly simple. I have stamped the greeting on the happy birthday. I have stamped the zebra just a memento tuxedo black ink on a stitched circle and I'm coming in and I'm using a uh, this is Bermuda Bay for the card base and I am using a very tiny stamp in the stamp set it's two stars together so what I'm going to do is color the stars in to make them sort of like the embellishments so even though this is minimal supplies card but this is actually a really cute um, birthday card and you know it could be of any ages and I like this because I am also going to do an inside greeting. So once all that stamping has done I'm coming in with my watercolor pencils and I'm using them just like pencil crayons or colored pencils if you're from the states. <laughs> I'm Canadian so we call them pencil crayons. Anyway I am coloring Knight of Navy and I just random some of them are going to be big and some of them are going to be the, the small. And then I'm going in with the Coastal Cabana and I am coloring the ones that wasn't colored with the Knight of Navy. Pretty simple right? <laughs> All right so now I have my little strip of paper and I did stamp two of these just to make sure that um, I was nice and straight and I chose the best one and I have fishtailed the end and this is just an extra little piece of Knight of Navy card and I instead of measuring and cutting with my trimmer and all of that I'm just going to use my paper snips so uh, I have left just a little rim of that Knight of Navy around that sentiment. And then when I'm satisfied with the border, making sure that it's nice and even, I will put dimensionals on the back of my zebra. Um, I did color in some ground, but then I'm going to cover it up with the sentiment anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So I am coating the back of this stitched circle. Uh, and you could use probably any shape. You could probably use just a square piece of paper if you didn't have a die cutting machine to make a stitch circle. I die cut a few pieces out at a time so that I'm left with leftovers so that it makes it for a quick and easy card design. I adhered my sentiment just with some uh, dry adhesive and yeah I'm going to stamp the inside and it says kick up your heels and I'm going to attach that to the inside of the card and then that is my share for today it is a very simple card I'm actually I've done an online class just using this stamp set so in case you're interested I'll leave the link in the description bar below but that's my card for today thanks so much for watching I'll catch you next time bye for now Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. On screen are two more videos for inspiration. Click on the maple leaf for my blog or click on me to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching.